Hi everyone, it's Marlene. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am collaborating with a group of wonderful ladies on my favorite summer drink inspired look. There's about 12 of us that have gotten together and chosen our favorite summer drink. It could be alcoholic or non-alcoholic and took that as an inspiration for our look today. Some of the ladies that are in the collaboration I know very well, some I don't know, and two are related to me. If you're visiting from one of their channels, welcome, and I hope you enjoy this look. If uh, you have been subscribed to me for a little while, please make sure to stop by and go and visit the other ladies. I'll have all of their channels linked down below. So my drink that, uh, that inspired my look is the Blueberry Mango Mojito. Now, you may not know, or you may know, that the mojito was made with rum. I, I chose it because, yes, I do like mojitos, but the nice thing about this drink is that if you do not drink alcohol, you do not have to make it with rum. You can make it with sparkling water and blueberries and mango. And I love mango. I lived in Puerto Rico for 15 years, and mangoes was definitely one of my favorite fruits. So when I found this recipe, I thought this is perfect and definitely gives way for a look. Blueberry mango mojito look. Okay, so what's on my face? I have the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Illumination. And it's this one, and I'm wearing it in tan. This is the first time I try it, and I gotta tell you, I like this. Uh, with an SPF of 50, perfect for the summer. Can't go wrong with this. I have my holy grail, as I say. You must be sick of me saying that. The uh, Makeup Forever Concealer in Y33, and it is Becca and Dahlia. Love this blush. So that's what I'm wearing on my face. I went ahead and I did my brows. And I really wanted to keep it to one palette. But I don't have green and purple and um, coral, peachy color. All three colors in one palette. So I apologize about that. So I'm going to have to be dipping into a few places. So I am going to start with one that I have not used before. I just purchased this. I have not hauled it. It is from Buxom and it is called Lingerie Lover. And I'll leave all the colors listed down below. And that is Lingerie Lover. And I am just going to go ahead and put it all over it looked like a perfect base color. As you know, I don't use a I don't use a primer. I think it does more damage than good to me. For me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This is uh from what I can tell, a light mauve. For my crease. And to represent the mango, I am going to take uh, Laura Lee's uh, palette with Violet Boss, and I am going to use Ragamuffin, which is right up here. And that's what I'm going to use on my crease. I'm going to go ahead and blend it. I'm going to add a little bit more. I 
wasn't sure what, what I was going to do, but I kept thinking about the drink and that's what I'm doing and I, I had an idea. I'm gonna blend it some more. I was going to use Tickled Pink from Laura Lee's palette, but I purchased this yesterday and I'll do a haul and talk to you about it. I've never used these colors, so I have no clue. This is from Kiko and it is number 20. And that's the color right there. And what this is going to represent is, and I hopefully it has good pigmentation, um, this is going to represent the, the sparkling water or the rum, whatever you would like to use. And I'm going to put this right on my lid. I'm using my fingers because it's not doing a very good job with the brush. There are sparkles everywhere. All right, let me even them out. What happened? To represent the mint in the mojito, I am using another new one that I have from Buxom, and it is called Prenup. And Prenup is this incredibly beautiful green. And I am going to use that on my lower lash line. I've got sparkles everywhere. I'm taking the E36 brush from Morphe because it is really one of the best brushes that I have used for my lower lash line. I'm going to take a bit more of Ragamuffin and put a little bit more on my lower lash line. So, since I am loving it, I am going to do the purple from the blueberries. I know, they're called blueberries, but it looks purple to me, you know? And this is an inspired look. I'm going to use Posh Purple from Buxom to represent the blueberries. And I'm going to use this in my outer corner, in the outer V. And I'm not, I'm not do, uh, using too much of it. Switching the brush. I'm going to go ahead and blend all the colors. I'm going to go ahead and prime my lashes. I, ju I just got back last night from traveling and my Lancome is in one of my bags. This is the one from Wet n Wild. Now I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before. This is from Kiko and it is a purple mascara for a little extra touch of blueberries. And since this is a summer look, I need to add a little bit of um, glow from the sun. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier uh, in Seduction. And I'm just going to use a touch of it. For the lips, I'm going to use a new lip gloss 
that I just purchased. It's from uh, Bare Minerals. It is in their Gen Nude Collection Buttercream Lip Gloss. And this one is in Heartbreaker. And that's the color right there. It's a little bit stickier than I like, but I think the color is so pretty. All right, I'm going to bring you in for a close-up so you can see my blueberry mango mojito look. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this look. Please let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite summer drink is. It doesn't have to be alcoholic, just whatever. Maybe uh, you'll tell me about a drink that you really like. Actually, when I was um, doing this, I thought how cool to, uh, how delicious it would be to make it into a smoothie. The blueberries and the mango and sparkling water with some uh, mint inside. I thought that that sounded pretty good to me. I may just try it and let you know how that works out. Okay, thank you all so much for watching and visiting with me for taking time out of your day. And if you are new to my channel, you're coming over from the channel of one of the other ladies, welcome. And please don't forget to go and visit them. Their links will be right down below. I will leave the recipe to very mango mojito listed down below and the alternative to you to make it with sparkling water as well all right everyone thank you so much for watching and don't forget follow your passions i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>